First Missouri Bank, 455 Sandbar Drive in Kearney. The phone number is 816-903-9010. First Missouri Bank, we're passionate about helping people create a brighter financial future in the communities we call home. Member FDIC. Good evening and welcome to the KMO TV Newsroom. I'm Jim Dickerson. We begin tonight in Kearney, where the Kearney School District Board of Education held a special board meeting at noon last Saturday, August 14th, to discuss the superintendent's return to school plan. After discussion, a motion was made to authorize interim superintendent Todd White to implement any appropriate mitigation process to address the COVID-19 pandemic as he believes is in the best interests of the Kearney School District. That motion passed 4-3. to three. The updated return to school plan states that the Kearney School District will operate at full capacity and with in-person teaching and learning. The document also states universal indoor masking is required for all students, school district staff members, and visitors regardless of vaccination status. Officially sanctioned, school district school events and activities will also be allowed at full capacity and with all of the mitigation steps outlined in the document. This includes extracurricular activities such as theater and athletic events. The City of Kearney is making a second attempt to put a use tax in front of voters this fall Instead of burdening residents with higher taxes to pay for needed infrastructure and amenities, the city is asking residents to vote for the use tax. The use tax brings in tax dollars from the purchase of large ticket items over the internet or through the out-of-state sale of items like motor vehicles, boats, and trailers. It is tax money that could be coming back from out-of-state sales, but since citizens have not approved the measure, Kearney is missing out on revenue it could use for infrastructure and amenities. Mayor Randy Pogue sees the benefit of having a use tax to help with city infrastructure projects because sales from online out-of-state vendors do not create local funds to help pay for city infrastructure. Why is this important to you? How, how many of us now, especially through a pandemic, are ordering things from Prime, right. ordering things online? And you're, you're leaving tax dollars on the table. Every time. Yep, yep. So with changing retail buying habits, obviously now more than ever, a use tax can help broaden the city's tax base while creating a level playing field for, local, for our local merchants. And, and, and a lot of times you're seeing these online vendors charging a use tax, but since we don't officially have one, the city of Kearney is not receiving that money. Yeah, you got to fix that. It, it's out there lost. This Saturday, the Kearney Amphitheater will be rocking to the sounds of classic rock band Head East. Brian Watts has the story from the Kearney Amphitheater. Head East headlines this weekend at Kearney's Summer Concert Series along with cover band The Goddesses of Rock. The legendary classic rock band Head East has long set the standard for authentic full vocal good time rock harmonies that few bands can equal. Their high-energy shows are filled with superb vocals, flashy guitar work, and memorable keyboard melodies that continue to rock audiences of all ages. Their signature song, Never Been Any Reason, has long been considered by many radio stations across the country as the rock and roll national anthem. This year, Head East will be celebrating their 50th anniversary by performing most of the cuts off of their iconic record, Flat as a Pancake. Amphitheater gates open at 7 p.m. on Saturday, August 21st, and the show starts at 8 p.m. Tickets are $20 in advance and $25 at the gate. Advanced tickets can be purchased through CarneyAmphitheater.com. For KMO TV News, I'm Brian Watts. It's time to take a look at the weekend weather, and for that we go to Brittany Probst in the KMO TV Weather Center. Brittany, we had a pleasant week this week. Can we expect the weather to be nice this weekend too? Jim, it's still summertime and the warm temperatures are here to stay for a while. Good evening, everyone. Here's your KMO TV weekend weather outlook. On Friday, we're looking at a high of 89 degrees and a slight chance of thunder showers. The overnight low is going to be 71 degrees. 
On Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be really nice outside with a high of 90 both days. Saturday is mostly sunny and hot with clear skies. There's an overnight low of 69 degrees on Saturday. Sunday, sunny and hot with clear skies and an overnight low of 75. From the KMO TV Weather Center, I'm Brittany Propes. Have a great weekend. This weather report was brought to you by Kearney Family Chiropractic Center. Discover a new level of wellness. Visit CarneyFamilyChiro.com. Be sure to join us here in the KMO TV newsroom every Thursday at 6.30 for your weekly news recap, hourly on 102.7 FM, and for breaking news as it happens on our website at 1027carneymo.com. On behalf of all of us here at KMO TV, have a great weekend. Migraine headaches, the throbbing in your temples, the pounding in your forehead, extreme sensitivity to light and sound, your neck feels so tight it could snap off. Oh, the debilitating pain. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Strathman with Kearney Family Chiropractic Center, and I've been practicing chiropractic health in Kearney for over 22 years. When you come to see me, I identify what's wrong and determine if I can help you. If I can, I create your personalized plan for relief. When you have pain, you can make an appointment by calling 816-628-6738. Or you can visit the office at 301 South Platte Clay Way, Suite B in Kearney. Kearney Family Chiropractic Center. Heal yourself.